Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. So for this week's video, we have the Upcrate subscription box. Um, this one is number 45. I'm really eager to get into this box, so let's check it out. Okay, very bright color. Let's just get everything out of the box first and then we'll have a, a closer look. Gosh. Nice to see minimal paper again. Okay, so I'll look at those in a moment. We'll look at the art supplies first. So we've got nice bright yellow uh, paper and a, a very um, creative flower on the front, number 45. Okay, so it looks like we have some paints. Um, let's pick up the big one. Um, I think we've had this before. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, we have um, gouache uh, from, I think that's Talons, and it's in white. Got a nice big tube, and this is 20 mils. And then we also have uh, this one is Rembrandt and it, the colour is indigo and this is a watercolour okay so it's two different types of paints here and this one is 10 mils and same again Rembrandt watercolour uh, it is uh, quinacridone quinacridone red say that 10 times <laughs> and uh, same again 10 mils and then we also have ultramarine deep um, watercolour from Rembrandt very nice and we also have cadmium yellow and same again okay, so you've got two types of like blues uh, a red and a yellow and a white so you can do a lot with those colours um, we also have uh, from Rembrandt um, well it's Lyra uh, the gold gold docker gold ochre uh, colour pencil polycolour okay. and we also have uh, from Lyra a dark sepia and I've got a very fine um, zero round or very pointy brush. Very fine. Okay, there's quite a lot there. So those are the art supplies. Uh, we also have the bottle post. Uh, so this is a May uh, May's box number forty-five. This magazine cover has absolutely nothing to do with the theme of this box okay <laughs> uh, so in the magazine there is just a few uh, like description of all the art materials in the box um, and then we have the co-captain um, which is Vivi Gonzalez art and very very pretty artwork I love the colors very autumnal. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. Very nice. I like I like this. And then just further along, uh, just a little breakdown of uh, tips and tricks of how to use the art materials in a variety of different ways. And then a bit more at the back is um, the sailor of the month. So an, uh, another featured artist. And then um, even more from Le Petit Russe um, of uh, trying to get as much colour out of what we've got in the box. And that's the art piece that she created. And then we have the Up Crate Battle. That's, that's stunning. That's incredible. 
um, yeah very cool and then we have at the back so the prompt for this month's box is circular village okay you can work with that that's one of the better prompts I've come across um, so yeah so that's the uh, bottle post and you can guess three sheets of paper yep and I'll just have a quick look and see what paper they've actually provided so it's art space watercolor pad uh, it's 300 gm 100% cotton um, and it's cold pressed okay um, so yeah nice quite nice paper it does feel very nice um, quite soft actually and there's a little bit of texture there uh, so yeah um, uh, it's a shame they've not got more of that um, and then we also have the print from the co-captain uh Bibi gonzalez art and I, I actually really do like this piece i think it's really really beautiful i love the colors mm, i'm quite inspired and we also have the um sticker sheet as well with some of the her art uh, illustrations very nice so this is what we've got in the in the box so quite quite a bit here um, I'm quite intrigued and inspired as to what kind of art to create with the prompt circular village so yeah I'll have a little think I'll swatch these out as well um, using up one of these papers and um, yeah I'll get creating so enjoy the time lapse i 
To the moon and back We had a love like that Why do I feel like that's slowly fading? We used to be friends That was way back when You and I, we were a slow burn Never play
Okay, so we're at the end of the video. This is the art piece that I ended up with and I have to say I do love it. This is um, one of the more time consuming ones that I've actually done for a, a subscription box. Um, this has taken me quite a long time to do. The reason being is the um, size zero paintbrush uh, that we were given. Um, I was so tempted to grab one of my other paint paintbrushes, one of the bigger sized ones. Um, but no, I wanted to just use the, the art materials that were given in the box and that's what I did. Um, there, there is a lot of detail in this piece which is why it just took so long uh, and filling in coloured areas. Um, but I think it paid off. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I kind of went off to the same lines as the featured artist, uh, the co-captain. Uh, I really liked her style, um, but I just wanted to modify it in my own way. Um, so I just did a couple more circles, kind of like windows into the scene. Um, the reference I used is was a field of flowers, but there was no buildings in, in the reference. Um, there was like a, a tractor with some people standing around, but um, I just changed it up and put my own um, uh, buildings and uh, a little village in the background and a windmill. But yeah, I, I think the colours are beautiful. I really love the variety of colours. I do love a lot of colour. Uh, in my art pieces so um, and I'm quite chuffed with what we got in the box with having like the primaries and the indigo and a white um, we can create some really pretty colours with those um, I don't think the indigo was necessary as we had the ultramarine but um, I still used it for like darker areas um, the B as well um, and I used the two pencils that were included uh, this sepia I used the majority of, I didn't really use um, this one which was the gold ochre um, but yeah they work really well together, the paints are beautiful, the Rembrandt paints are, are really nice, the white gouache works very nicely over the top of the paint, uh, watercolours, the colour pencils work very nicely, they bre bl uh, blend very well. Um, and work very nicely on top of the paints as well. Everything worked really well together. Um, and yeah, I think it was a really well thought out box. Um, I only used the palette for this watercolor, um, art space watercolor set, which was from an, a previous upgrade box, but I, I didn't use any of the paints in this set. I only used the palette um, to, for, for this piece. So. I, I didn't cheat <laughs> um but yeah uh, so I used a reference and then I just using a compass I just um drew out some circles I, I wasn't sure whether to incorporate some more circles here um and down here I kind of I kind of regret it but um it still looks okay uh, I then wanted to incorporate some flowers I, I kind of picked out flowers that I thought might have been the flowers in the fields um, and kind of framed the circle uh, by painting these two different coloured flowers and I think they work really nicely. Um, I did draw out some bees and then I did change my mind. I wasn't going to actually do any bees in this piece but I, I did make a mark here with, uh, with the paint and I couldn't, I couldn't lift it off. I couldn't get that off. So I then had to draw a bee and extend this flower up um, but it still looks really good really happy with it the brush um, I, I would have liked a bigger size brush but um, I'm glad that I still made the time and effort and got the details in this piece I think it, it works really well you have the depth of field there um, with the background to the foreground um, and uh, I, I love the colors um, yeah, overall, I think this is a very good box. Um, the paper worked very nicely. I, I really do like the paper. Um, it didn't lift up at all. It's just warped slightly, but but I'm very pleased with it for an art space um, watercolour paper. Um, so yeah, overall, very, very happy. 
Um, let me know what you think of the prompt circular village what would you have done and if you've received this box what did you think of the art supplies please do leave a comment down below um, but for now please do go please give me a like share and a subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you take care bye